I thought cops are supposed to be able to help the city save money by preventing and stopping crime, not being the ones causing the crime and costing the city money. Uh, $12 million in a year just for settlements is crazy. Here, the Phoenix City Council has been approving large dollar settlements involving the city's police department. Another one just today involving a man who died in police custody. Fort Hatchett following the money tonight and where it comes from. The family of Casey Wells will be paid $650,000 by the city of Phoenix to settle a lawsuit accusing Phoenix police of wrongful death and excessive force against the 40-year-old in 2019. Don't look at them like they are an enemy because really they're to cry for help. They need someone to just be calm. Wells was found by Phoenix police naked in the street and then held down by six officers and tased before dying. In court documents before the settlement, attorneys for the city said the officers' actions were in good faith and without malice. You're well, good faith. They had, what, several people hold him down and tase him until he died. How is that good faith and without malice? Technique is not working. You're killing people that shouldn't be dying. In 2023 alone, the city of Phoenix has now paid out north of $12.3 million in eight separate settlements involving the police department. Attorney Benjamin Taylor didn't negotiate this settlement, but has negotiated others. He says they often take time. Because you have the police unions who are a lot of times who step in and give advice of their own, trying to protect the officers who might have done wrongly. The city tells Police unions are the only unions I'm against because police unions have done nothing but protect uh, murderous cops and allow them to get back on the force. Us all police liability claims less than seven and a half million dollars are paid for with city funds, your taxpayer money. Any claims higher than seven point five million are covered with the city's self insurance policy. I'm told the city budgeted more than thirty one million dollars for that insurance this fiscal year. The city. Wow, $31 million, and so far most of that, or not most, a good portion of that has been used just to pay off uh, police violence. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, the city shouldn't like have in their budget a, a, you know, uh, settlements for cops because they know that the cops are going to be murdering people. He will say, we're not admitting any wrongdoing. However, a payment... In, in such a way that you're admitting something. You're admitting that this family deserves justice. The city of Phoenix is still under Department of Justice investigation. They are going to be having the report come in the future. So the city of Phoenix might be willing to settle some of these cases based on the fact that the Department of Justice is looking into the wrongdoing that some of these officers have committed. And